All right, folks, so we are back in Fazlid's kitchen and today we're going to be cooking potatoes. So this is sort of another one in the series of uh, how to batch cook. It's like, how do you how do you cook a lot of one ingredient at a time? So I've got about 10 kilos of worth of potatoes, which are all going to be cooked today. Now, just want to clarify. <laughs> This is not going to be gourmet cooking, okay? Just like the, the chicken prep series, this is not designed to be something you make for your lady on a Saturday night, okay? This is batch prep. So cooking a lot of an ingredient quickly, easily, so it tastes, it tastes good. It's, it's gonna taste nice, I like it. Um, but it's not gourmet food, it's not gourmet cooking. So it's gonna be real, real simple. But the emphasis is going to be on speed. How do you cook this quickly? And I estimate I can cook 10 kilos worth of potatoes in probably less than a couple of hours, maybe an hour and a half tops. And that'll be enough potatoes for a month. Imagine that, convenience, it's incredible. So yeah, about a month's worth of potatoes cooked in probably an hour and a half. That's the benefit. You're not having to cook every single day. You just cook a whole bunch at once, freeze it, you're good to go. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do anyway is we're gonna get all the potatoes. I've got six bags and I'm gonna cook three bags at a time. So tear them open and we dump them straight in to... So I use a big pan like a real, a real big one like this, this size, okay? Um, just cause you can get lots in there. So I'm gonna fill that up with half my potatoes. That's about four and a half kilos. And during the course of this video, I'm going to be talking about how to flavor these potatoes as well and some of the different components you can use. Because there are different ways to flavor your potatoes when you're doing batch prep. Because you know, we, we can make it taste nice. Just because it's quick, easy prep doesn't mean it has to be super plain. We're gonna try and make it taste good too. But um, you've got a few options which will affect the taste and the consistency of the potatoes. So I'll talk you through those during the course of the video. So there we go, all the potatoes are in. And now we're just gonna fill it up with water. Okay, so that pan is full of water, the gas is on, and the basic idea is you're just gonna leave that going until it boils, then turn the heat down a little bit and just let it simmer. And uh, we'll check if it's ready with a knife, but I'll show you that in a moment. For now, we're just gonna leave this to go, let it boil, let it simmer until the potatoes are nice and soft and we're ready. Then we'll go to the next stage. All right, so that took about 20 minutes. Um, pretty easy and you know what you don't have to pot watch just put it on go do something else come back check it later um, the way to know it's done is you take a knife and it should just slide into one of the potatoes without really needing much force okay so there we go all good yeah nice and easy so once that's done um, you want to drain the water and then we'll talk about seasonings how we Okay, so I've drained the pan and I've taken some of the potatoes and put them into a mixing bowl like this. So let's talk options for flavoring. Now, bear in mind the audience, we're looking for something which is reasonably tasty, not particularly high in calories, because this is just our seasoning. I don't want to layer a bunch of heavy butters on top of this, all that kind of stuff. We're looking for something tasty, but we want to get the majority of our calories from our food. Now listen, if you're if you're bulking up, if you've got a lot of calories to spare, go ahead, you know, chuck in whatever you like. But I'm, there's plenty of things you can use to season, but I'm just gonna talk about two things today. So the first thing that I like to do occasionally is broth, vegetable broth. I know that sounds a little bit unusual, maybe for some of you who've not heard of that kind of thing, but broth works great. You make up some broth, dump it in and mash it up. It provides some moisture to the potatoes while at the same time giving it a, a nice, salty herbal kind of flavor so that's one good option 
Another good option, which is a classic option, again, which is suitable for, for us bodybuilders, is milk. And normally what I use is skim milk. So that is milk, which is almost zero fat. It's just extra protein, extra carbs, dump it in there. It acts to help to keep this, the potatoes a little bit moist and also adds a little bit of flavor as well. So those are my two main options. You'll have other things you like to use, but I'm just discussing those two right now. So I would recommend something like that, which is both going to season the potatoes and also keep them slightly moist. Broth is super cheap to get from any supermarket. Milk, most houses have some milk, so that's a good option. Choose one of those, add some in um, to taste, add a small amount in at once, and then you can top it with more if you need to. So good rule of thumb with any kind of cooking you're doing. Again, real basic stuff. Add small amounts at a time, taste, and then add more if you need to. Do it that way, you can't go wrong. Rather than adding a load in at once and then panicking. So I'm gonna add in a bit of milk to these and I'm gonna mash them up and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, there is one more thing as well. It's salt. So, Typically, um, I don't add salt. I normally just stick with either milk or broth. There is a bit of salt in broth as well, but the thing about salt is you may want to add salt if that's part of your current diet, current setup, if you want to, simply because the nature of salt is that it draws in moisture. So if you add salt and then add some broth on top of it or add milk with that as well, it'll help to retain the moisture. So when you mash the potatoes, they'll turn out more creamy. That's the role of salt when you're making mashed potatoes. Now, it's up to you. You can use it, you don't have to. But if you want potatoes which are a bit creamier, then salt will help to retain moisture, which will keep your mash creamier. Um, and the same could be said for the broth, if it's a nice salty broth. But um, just, you know, for, um, for your information, depending on how you like your potatoes. And one more tip, tidy up as you go along. So keep a hand towel with you and just make sure you're wiping down surfaces as you go along <laughs> mostly because it will keep your significant other or your parents or guardians happy whoever you live with um, and it's good practice keep your kitchen services tidy as you go along it's good for cooking otherwise you get into a mess right so that first batch is pretty much done that's about a quarter of my potatoes which is already done and it was that easy there we go what I'm going to do is I'm going to just partition those out into small 400 gram boxes, like 500 gram portions, and I'll show you that in just a second. But um, like it's that easy. It really is. And that's the first one done. So these little boxes here, it's a quick tip on this. So I buy these boxes in bulk. They are reusable, roughly 500 gram containers. Now, a quick tip on this to save you some money. Get them from eBay don't get them from Amazon. And the reason is, on Amazon, people have caught on. So they buy them in bulk and then they resell them in packs of three and four for a much higher markup. So you'll save yourself a lot of money if you buy them in packs of 100 or 250 or whatever. So just a quick tip for you, but yeah, you'll end up with a portion like this. I mean, your boxes will be different sizes, so feel free to weigh it out, you know, depending on your needs. For me, that's like two portions. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and partition all of these out and then we'll have a look at what it all looks like. And that's it. That is half the potatoes done. How long did that take us? Took us no time at all, guys. So that is about five kilos of potatoes already done. These potatoes, they can be as rough and dry or as moist as you like. They can be flavored however you like. You have total control. And all it takes is just understanding what the ingredients do. So whether it's broth or milk or butter or salt, whatever you, whatever, however you want your potatoes, just choose the right method. But um, yeah, this is how you, you make it all in prep. It tastes great. And I'm just going to end by showing you what I've got so far. I've got eight packs, which is roughly, yeah, like I think about four and a half ish kilos um, of potatoes. So fantastic. Yeah. So there we go. Um, that is what I've got so far. It's about half. The rest are here. <laughs> Another three packs. So that's what I'm going to do next. 
But yeah, that's it. Pretty much it. Hopefully that was useful for you guys. And um, oh, before we go, I'll just talk a bit about how I use potatoes uh, in my meals. So yeah, one last thing before we go. Um, I use potatoes as a base for a lot of my meals. So I find for maintenance or for cutting, as in cutting body fat, cutting body weight, using potatoes as a base of your meal tends to work better than rice or pasta. I think rice and pasta are good for guys with high metabolisms or for guys who just aren't really good at eating food. But for someone like me, I can chow down on quite a lot of food. Potatoes just work a lot better. Anything like maintenance or, or cutting, it keeps me fuller, less calories means I can eat more. And uh, also potatoes are really good for you. They've got a lot of good nutrients in. They're, they're a type of vegetable, um, lots of potassium, lots of fiber, lots of other nutrients. So on a whole, they're great for you. They're very filling. So it's a perfect base for most meals. Add on top of that some, some meat or some fish, some legumes, something like that, maybe some more vegetables and you're golden. And that's a large part of what uh, makes my meal prep so easy. So there you have it. <laughs> really easy meal prep. Uh, batch cooking made simple. Thanks.